As it turns out, most short films are deep cuts. Is this cheating? Quite possibly. Anyways, here's four short films you should watch. La Jetée is a 1962 post-apocalyptic short film by Chris Marker. It won the Prix Jean Vigo for short film. Here's the thing though, here's the rub. The whole thing is still photos. Yeah, the whole movie. If you can't handle it, don't go for it. But if you are curious, I assure you it's worthwhile. After World War III, mankind retreats underground, and faced with running low on supplies, they begin to experiment with time travel to see if they can bring supplies in from some other less apocalyptic time. It's possibly the most experimental of the four movies, but if you just let yourself go with it, the vivid imagery and poetic narration, I guarantee it will keep you engaged. Les corps plantés au bout de la jetée et un visage de femme. Rien ne distingue les souvenirs des autres moments. Ce n'est que plus tard qu'ils se font reconnaître à leur cicatrice. Ce visage qui devait être la seule image du temps de paix à traverser le temps de guerre, il se demanda longtemps s'il l'avait vraiment vu ou s'il avait créé ce moment de douceur pour étayer le moment de folie qui allait venir. Two Men in a Wardrobe is an early work of Roman Polanski made in 1958. It's a silent film about, well, it's about two men in a wardrobe. They emerge from the sea, they dry off, they wander around, they end up in some sort of town, but everywhere they go they can't seem to catch a break. It's strangely alienating, but in that sort of wacky Kafka sense where it manages to stay fun rather than depressive. It has some enigmatic use of subplot happening in the background and some creative cinematography. It's an endearing film that I think is worth a watch. And now that I think about it, yeah, it's, re it's really Kafka-esque. If I can be as pretentious as to use the word Kafka-esque. Une Chienne Andalou is a 1929 collaboration between Luis Buñuel and Salvador Dali. Yes, that's Salvador Dali. They were both in their 20s at this point, and in classic starving artist fashion. By the end, Buñuel resorted to editing the film in his kitchen without the use of professional equipment like a moviola. Regardless, it's become well known in film circles for its innovative use of jump cuts, using a montage of images to intentionally fool or jar emotions. In particular, it's oft-parodied opening scene. I think it sums up the idea quite well. Bunuel said, Historically, this film represents a violent reaction against what at the time was called avant-garde ciné, which was directed exclusively to the artistic sensibility and to the reason of the spectator. Unfortunately for Bunuel, it didn't actually piss people off. The film was never really a violent reaction against the sensibilities at the time. Instead, it was hailed as the first surrealist film and uh, became one of the, the cornerstones of the surrealist French movement. Entracte is a 1924 avant-garde film by René Clair. It was created as an intermission for a ballet. Entracte literally means intermission. Both the ballet and the film were composed by Eric Satie. Yes, this Eric Satie. probably the most fun of the four movies. It's actually set up like a series of jokes. This guy, Francais Picabia, another French artist who helped create the film, had this much to say. Entracte does not believe in very much. In the pleasure of life, perhaps. It believes in the pleasure of inventing. 
It respects nothing except the desire to burst out laughing. So here's four short films. Not sure if they all qualify as deep cuts. Uh, but most people don't tend to watch classic short films or really short films in general, so I, I thought it'd be fun to kind of go through and, and pick a few that I really liked. My apologies to all the French I butchered in this video. Uh, as a Western Canadian, though, it is part of my patriotic duty to butcher the French language. It's just the way it works. I hope you can uh, pick uh, maybe something to watch, because you might as well try something there short, you know, so, so give something a because some will watch some of them are even on YouTube because I don't know no one seems to care about short films anymore it's a uh, deep cuts I guess